Many of you may wonder why a Robin fights with himself in your car's side mirror or hubcap, or worse, in your home's windows. Why would the bird do such a thing? It's simply a testosterone-fueled male battling what he believes is a rival. Solution? Transfer your car to a different place or conceal its deceptive windows. If the reflection from your house's glass doors or windows confuses the birds, reduce the reflection by drawing curtains or hanging anything else that would accomplish your purpose. Is it possible that birds hide anything from us, or do they merely behave in ways that baffle us? If you want to understand more about bird behavior, keep watching this video, where we'll talk about the secret world of nesting birds. Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. How do nesting birds find a place to breed? Most birds use day duration to determine the season throughout the year. As the hours of sunshine hits a specific level, physiological changes occur in birds that prepare them for breeding. Most birds, particularly those in temperate climates, schedule their breeding activities so that they may feed their nestlings when food is plentiful. Yet, birds must choose a nesting habitat long before nestlings arrive. Non-migratory species may keep their winter area or create a new one in the spring. As migrating birds come in the spring, they seek and defend a territory. Territories offer prospective nesting places, consistent food supplies, and predator protection. How do nesting birds choose a mate? Birds strive to attract mates when territories are being claimed. In most species, females choose males based on their overall quality and vitality. Males promote their potential as mates by displaying vivid breeding plumage during courting displays, delivering food to females, showing their capacity to construct nests, and singing, drumming, or calling. Most species have social pair bonds that keep males and females together throughout the mating season. However, promiscuity is not unusual. DNA analysis has shown that even birds thought to mate for life, such as bluebirds, are not always loyal. It is conceivable for various males to father nestlings in the same nest, Males of several species, such as the red-winged blackbird and the house wren, may have many mates simultaneously. Females of certain species, like Wilson's phalaropes, may have more than one partner, but this is uncommon. Why do these birds build a nest? Nests offer a secure environment for the development of eggs and young birds. While each species has a distinct nest form, bird nests vary incredibly. Some birds do not build nests, preferring to deposit their eggs in a small scrape in the ground. Some birds build their nests out of natural materials, including grass, leaves, mud, lichen, fur, and man-made items like paper, plastic, and yarn. Nests may be found practically everywhere, on the ground, in trees, in burrows, on cliff faces, in and on man-made buildings, and so on. Nests are normally built by females, but may also be built by both parents or males. What's the nesting bird egg count? Depending on the species, the total number of eggs a female may deposit in one nesting effort varies greatly. Many tropical birds, for example, lay clutches of just two or three eggs. Wood ducks, for example, may lay up to 15 eggs in a single nesting effort. Clutch size may also vary significantly across individuals of the same species, depending on food and calcium availability, latitude, female age, weather, and time of year. Bird eggs vary significantly in size, shape, color, and texture, both within and across species. Kinds of newborn birds. Songbirds and most seabirds have altricial young, which means they are blind, featherless, and helpless when they hatch. Altricial birds can do nothing more than open their mouths and beg for food just after hatching. They stay in the nest, where the parents may feed and protect them as they grow. Their eyes are normally open by the end of the first week, and their feathers start developing. Ducks and many shorebirds, for example, are born fully feathered with their eyes open. Precocial birds have longer incubation times than altricial birds, allowing for more embryonic development in the egg. As a result, they have comparatively advanced sensory skills upon hatching. In the end, the main question is, how do they survive? Most birds only nest once a year, but certain species such as the American robin may have up to four or five nests in a single mating season. Young birds generally stay near their parents after leaving the nest. Young birds must learn to live independently during this period and are very susceptible to predators and famine. The first year is the most difficult, nearly all bird species lose more than half of their first year birds. Yet, the chances of surviving another year grow dramatically for mature birds. That's all for today's video. Comment down below if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching.